Hello everyone. Welcome back to Adiengen Rompa. To Goodbye a Despair Anniversary Edition. Um, we're a little late starting because I was just prepping some food. But I am ready now. We should be good. Um, right. So we're starting chapter six. Ooh. Boosty. I think I've been in front of the, uh, the cooker. Um, so I haven't done anything since the last time. We had a, a weird chapter zero situation where Nagito, Nagito was on um, some sort of transport with someone that he seemed to respect but was treating him very disdainfully um, and I don't know who it was it had to have been someone from the first game but oh. Junko's dead um, could have been Biakia um, could have been Makoto Kyoto Unlikely to have been um, Fortune Teller Guy or Sheena. Who am I missing? Oh! And it's very unlikely that it's Genocide Jill. <laughs> and or her old ego. But it could have been. But yes, we're back now with Hajime. What is this? Hi, Sir Khalid. There's a door. <laughs> There's a door. Oh yeah, so... Just to catch you all up, um, Danganronpa 2, we are just starting chapter 6. At the end of chapter 5, we got into the school, the, the very ancient looking monument that looked like the school. We went through the door, we put in the password. Um, it was a number, I don't know what the significance of the number was because, well, I have a memory like a sieve. Um, well, no, I have a short term memory like a sieve. And whatever it was didn't stick because it didn't wasn't deemed important enough. Um, possibly a date from the first one. Uh, and then once they went through that door, everything sort of went weird and glitchy. And I was like, aha, they are in a simulation. Because that was my theory right from like the very beginning. Um, so if we are actually in the simulation, I'm like, haha, called it. Um called it um but if we are in a simulation then are people really dead what's going on um and who is the other person or was it that mastermind person the the, the disguised person i don't know is there someone new or is it someone we know i don't know is the answer right now because we haven't found that out um i did re-watch the first games anime series just recapped the first game because i was like i am forgetting too many of the bits um and chapter six was all about figuring out what was going on and you know so that's i imagine what that's what this will be like but it might have a trial at the end there might be a an investigation phase i don't know we're gonna see where we are at six when we've played a good section of it um but yeah so there, there was a weird like chapter zero which is like a prologue where they seem to be traveling to an island <sighs> Nagito was aware of things also at the end of chapter five we lost Chiaki because she was the traitor <sighs> though you know that's obviously framed as traitor from um, 
you know, the giant Monokuma teddy bear. Um, she is part of the Future Foundation. She can't tell us what's going on. Um, so, yeah. She couldn't tell us what was going on. Like she'd been programmed not to. It was weird. Don't know. So, we'll see. Dot, dot, dot. Huh, a door! Why is the door here? I don't know. How many times are you going to say door? Where am I? How did I get here? Where am I supposed to go? Through the door? It looks like a school door. Oh, go into the light. Try not to blind everybody. Oh look, it's a classroom. Time unknown, chapter six. Oh, everything's very green. Huh? Isn't this a classroom? Yes, it is the classroom, almost. Even so, it's a very strange classroom. Why am I in a place like this? There are a lot of desks in this classroom. Yeah, we went through the door. We went inside the ancient room with everyone else. And I arrived at a place that looked like a trial ground. But then why... It's not connecting. I don't know why I'm here. There's no, there's no connection between how I left the trial ground and how I ended up here. It's just like before, we were all gathered in that classroom, just before we ar I arrived at Jabok Island. Where is this place? Is it somewhere on Jabok Island? Ding dong ding dong. Is it Monokuma? Oh no. Maybe, yes. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. But can My you can see the glitches. One, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy, you guys. At this point, I shall explain the graduation exam to you all. So please assemble at the gymnasium immediately. This is kind of like how it was in the first game, the beginning. Possibly. Huh? No, graduation though. Why? No, that wouldn't have been at the beginning because graduation is at the end. Did he say what I just said? He said he definitely said welcome to Hope Speak Academy, but why would this place be Hope Speak Academy and not just that? What is the graduation exam? Isn't the killing over already? don't know. Right, so we need to get to level 99. We're on 86. We've made some good progress. Fox doesn't have any hands. That's kind of meaningless. What is that? It's just having the same purposes. Okay, in this place. Yeah, what is going on? Okay. The other thing was that we were... Are we going to do steps? Because we were very close to... We were building up our despair thing. Did we get all the pets? Yes, we did. Okay, so we were just building it up for coins. Okay, so it doesn't matter as much if we don't get any steps. Um, but it's really annoying because we were so close to getting Gundam's skill. And then he went and killed Mekamaru and then we were so close to getting Chiaki's and then bloody Nagito god damn it um we didn't really like her or her or uh, him so we didn't really bother talking to them much um and then it was really just a case of well trying to figure out who to t so yeah we tried to focus on people and then yeah we don't really get very far. It's, it's going to have to be a case of we'll do it in the, the little thingy list. Um, the little thingy. The, the, the school, whatever random weird school thing that happens. Um, so present wise, we've got all of them except for one randomly in the middle. And then some Chiaki. We've still got... Well, it'll be probably chapter six, maybe an epilogue type thing. But there are... Maybe there's a couple ones that unlock a different, couple of more different modes, but... There's, there's a bunch here... That I've not got any of this section. So whether this is from island mode, or whether I just got very, very unlucky with the RNG, I don't know. No drift, but it's no bat. Okay, so... Oh, and... 
I mean, it's obviously it's the same classroom as the previous classroom in the first game because there's the iron plate. And it's like we've almost gone back in time to the first game. So there's a lot more chairs in here than there were. Leave here, yes. Are we actually in Hope's Peak Academy? Old building, first floor. The oh, hallway doesn't feel like a school at all. What a creepy place. At least it doesn't look like a normal school at all. It's definitely like, there's no way this place is Hope's Peak Academy. It's a creepy place, the Hope's Peak Academy that I've mined for so long. Well, it had a little bit of a change. It's probably just a building that Monokuma made stopless, like the funhouse. It's definitely it. Monokuma said to come to the gym, isn't right? And I'll go and definitely clear things up. I mean, honestly, it does sort of look like... The game, except there's some... It, it looks like the first game. The layout from the first game. The AV room. The store. Exit. What's with the weird ticky sun floor? Nurse. Toilets. The area. That's the gym. I went the wrong way. It's weird ticky things on the floor. It's like. But it is totally the same layout as the school from the first game. That's where we just were. I mean, we can't go in anything else. Spare hotel. Yeah, that's where they lived. Because it got it got ref not refurbished, but it basically got revamped. Um, when they were um, basically turning it into a shelter before it went massively wrong. Ugh. Eyes are itchy. Hmm. <sighs> it says Jim. Alright, I'm going inside. Someone may be waiting. Something may be waiting, but I'm not going to care away. You gotta brace myself and go in. Ooh, glitch. Yeah. This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. Chapter 6. prepared what was awaiting me on the other side of the door an actual gymnasium and some eggs no they're fucked there <laughs> <laughs> they're sports balls um there's a normal gymnasium oh damn Jimmy. right oh why'd you make yo heard the announcement and came here too you guys did too right what's going on what'd you, what'd you make of all this oh my said this place was hope speak academy or something that is that cannot be possible well, You're yeah. right. Any way you look at it, it's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> so there's only five of them left, I think. One, two, three, four, and me. There were six left at the end of the last one. But... Um, so it's like there's been more deaths in this one. Hello! How does it feel to return to Long Awaited Hope Speak Why Academy? You. You. Hey, hey, where are we? Where'd you lock us up this time? That's what a shock. I just told you guys this is Hope Speak Academy. Of course not! There's no way to hell that's true. No, no! <laughs> oh, but it is! I mean, this definitely speak academy well what's left of it anyway what's left of it what, what? didn't i tell you before unfortunately hope speak academy fell to ruin when was it on jabba walk island when it was lastly in the middle of a something or other lies you were serious about it stupid fool hmm. Hmm. but of course it fell to ruin i mean they were doing things that they deserve to be ruined for what do you mean i don't like this Anyway, I'm pretty disappointed. 
I went to all this trouble to bring you to Hope's Peak Academy and don't feel surprised when you stopped it. Fine, fine. Oh, well, it's not like I did this for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't feel nostalgic, I'm sure someone is feeling nostalgic right now. Someone? Don't fuck with me! Enough with the bullshit. Just spit it out already. Where'd you take us, you bastard? Though I am not certain of my memories, I believe we ancient entered the ancient ruin. In other words, it means I made this host peak academy between the doors of the ruin and the inside of the ruin. What do you mean between? Hey, hey, hey! What do you mean made? What's this? Oh my! Are your minds getting the grumblies that only knowledge can satisfy? <laughs> yes. Good. Very good. It's fine to hurry on to the graduation exam, but it's in my nature to provide a little entertainment. Entertainment? You're planning to make us do something, aren't you? No way! It's nothing to be so cautious about. It's not like you'll be making life exchanges or anything Shing. like that. It's just a simple graduation exam. Huh? And what is the graduation exam? Hey, um... Well, as the headmaster and Kim Fu, did you know? On one hand, I'm really happy that you're fine. You're going to graduate. Are you but on sure the about other this? hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. So... That's why I am thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabbarok Island or stay here. Huh? Why? We're obviously going to get out. There's no way we stay here. That's right. That's annoying. Just hurry up and let's choose. Let's choose right now. No, no, no. Mm, can't do that. The main cast hasn't arrived yet. Um, main cast? Hey, um... Meaning you guys are just extras until the guest of honor arrives. Damn it. So enough complaining already. Hurry up and start re researching the outside world. What do you mean? I have dispersed all the teaching materials you need for your research throughout Hope's Peak Academy. Well, I don't think this needs to be said, but <laughs> if the information is accurate and contains no lies whatsoever. Otherwise, the main cast is gonna hate me! <laughs> so please rest assured and strive to do your best during your field trip. And as usual, after leaving us with this cryptic word, Monokuma disappeared. If there's anything had changed? Yeah, but if the killing was finished, he was still the same as usual. Um. What is going on? Outside world, main cast? Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah. No, but but what if we want to be our best selves? <laughs> hey, hey! Well, you kept insisting that this place is Hope's Peak hmm. Academy, but that's impossible, right? What are you saying? How do we make it back to Hope's Peak Academy from a tropical island in the first place? It's impossible. It cannot be! There is no place for Hope's Peak Academy to exist on Jabberwock Island. <laughs> I, I, I said I wanted to go back, but I don't want to go back to a creepy place like this. What does this mean? So many things I don't understand have happened on the island. This building really is Hope's Peak Academy? Ooh, excuse me. This is the Hope's Peak Academy I've been admiring for so long. I don't know what is going on. Obviously something funky's going on. Everything's glitching. Why is this happening? Why? I was finally able to attend Hope Speak Academy. I finally thought I'd become confident in myself. And so I wanted to become Hope. If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only being humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. There's nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. Oh, yeah. So it's interesting seeing the differences between, like, the just basically dubbed version of the anime for the first game and how they actually, like, properly, like, translated it. Because Ultimate is something that is totally for the, like, the Western version. Um, it's like has like a, a different translation that's like the something high school student super whatever um, which is the trans direct translation of the Japanese um, which doesn't ring quite as well so I can see where they changed it and then of course everyone's referred to by their surnames which I've been referring to everyone by their first name because that's what the Western version of the game does so I was very confused because I'd not memorized any of the surnames um, and it took me a while to figure out who on earth they were talking about in the anime. Um, and there are a couple of with a couple of other little differences, but those are the main ones. It was just like the name and then, you know, because everyone's very formal, you know, they refer to them by their surname. Um, but 
Byakia Tagami, or however you actually pronounce it, was the only one that I knew the surname of. <laughs> actually, no, Aoi Ashina, because that one I, I had a problem with Aoi and used to call her Ashina anyway. Um, but yeah, so I was like, okay, they keep on calling him Nayagi, and I'm like, but his name's Makoto! <laughs> <laughs> our, our character. So yeah, it was it was quite interesting um, seeing that sort of difference, just that obvious difference in culture. Um, so yeah. Oh, and yeah, Genocide Jack or Genocide Jill was actually Genocide Show because well, they 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 gave it a natural you know proper name for the culture. Um, I don't know if the genocide actually works. Sorry, my eyes are very watery today. And um, pollution levels might be a wee bit high. Um, or something. It's London, you know. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was, it was intriguing. So, once I go through chapter 6, then I get to watch the, the manga, anime, the anime, manga's a comic, isn't it? The anime that, um, sort of fills in the blanks, because of course they don't do that in the game. Why would they do that in the game? That would just, you know, defeat the purpose of having answers in a game. Um, and then at some point I will start the third game. There is another, like, some comics and stuff in between, but mainly I just want some answers about this if this doesn't satisfy at the end of this. I know there's more to it, so... And that three, I don't know if it, where it sort of... It fits in after, but whether it follows on i'm not sure um either which way we'll probably have a bit of a break before we pick up three because whew, you know lots of talking that's why it's not even worth admiring oh you're so blinded by your admiration for hope speak academy that you couldn't see that Ugh, you're just some no, some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with and nobody who forgot he was a nobody that's all if i really am a nobody then you should have just left me alone why do i have to go through something like this um. Hajime, did something happen? Huh? Hey, bastard! Now's not the time to zone out. Sorry, it's nothing. Um... Um, I don't really get it, but is that all? I'm gonna do it! As long as I don't beat the crap out of Monokuma, nothing's gonna be solved, and that's what it means. Hey! Huh. Just what the heck is Monokuma anyway? He's not part of the Future Foundation, right? Um... If you say that, then what is the Future Foundation? Jeez. Hmm. Even though Chiaki and Monomi are gone, our situation hasn't changed one bit, which means Future Foundation wasn't our enemy, and that's the only thing I can think of. You serious? Hmm. So they're not World Ender? Then we really was tripped by Monokuma. However... However, the Future Foundation is responsible for trapping us on this island. Regarding that matter, I mean, I, I believe Monomi never once denied that. Damn it. Even if there are allies, they might not just be allies. Maybe Monokuma is telling us to investigate that information on our own. Jackie said she could not betray the Future Foundation, but if she was still alive, she definitely would have helped us. No, even her just being with us would have been a big help. Hmm. So, what should we do? Damn it. Well, that's obvious. We're gonna get out of here safely. We've gotta do that graduation exam, right? So annoying. Graduation exam, huh? I'm not really good at taking exams. Huh. I guess it's better than people dying. Jeez. Hmm. Monokuma said something about a field trip, right? Is he telling us to investigate like that? Oh, right! I'm gonna do it! Prepare yourself! Like... Yeah, we might be able to learn about Hope Speak Academy, about ourselves. Uh, okay, if we don't know anymore, we can just go back to our normal lives, I'm fine. Hey! If we can go home when this is over, right? We can finally get off this damn island, right? <laughs> That's the case. Let's all leave this island alive by any means. Of course! Hell yes. It's right. It's not the time to burn how unlucky I am when this place really is. Where this place really is, what's happened to Hope Speak Academy, none of that matters. What's important is, I need to leave this island with the others. We sacrificed so many lives in order to survive just so we could do that. There's no way we can stop now. But, Monokuma should... Sorry, very windy. I already know that's what we're thinking. So why did he say that? We have to decide on our own whether or not we want to leave Jabberwock Island. You should already know that we'd never choose to stay on the island. Hey, hmm. hey! So what are we going to do? We're going to start hmm. already. But what are we even looking for? Do we just have to investigate this weird-ass building? Even so. Even so. I don't think we'll find the answers to our questions inside this time. <laughs> well, just go on ahead for now. Whoa! We're already going. Jeez. <sighs> what is that idiot thinking about? Running there without being cautious. Man. Should have 
just not thinking about anything. However, it is fine. There will longer be no longer be any situations where we must exchange each other's lives. Right. So we should do our best as well, like they say. If it's not scary, it's not scary. If everyone stops at a green light, if we stop at the green light, we'd never reach our goal. Jeez. Connie already took of on her own. It might be faster if we split up on a car huh. too. Like Sonia said, there's no more killing. We don't have to worry about anyone betraying us anymore. <laughs> then let's get this over with and go home. Later. I'll go on ahead. See you guys later. Those brief words for Yuhiko left the gymnasium. Excuse me. I shall do my best to obtain a wonderful clue that'll be useful to everyone. Now then, please excuse me. Sonia took a deep bow and then left the gymnasium. Oh my! Sonia. Miss Sonia. Don't leave me. I'm in danger if I'm left alone. Creep. Is it Kazuichi chased, up, chased after Sonia, who just departed and left the gymnasium? Should hurry and start too. Just a bit more, a bit more, and it's going to end. I could escape this nightmare and return to my usual peaceful everyday life. The only thing we can do is advance towards the hope, even though I don't understand, and that a lot of horrifying things keep happening. For the sake of everyone who couldn't make it this far, I'm definitely going to go home. Oh, we go straight into the investigation. Interesting. Okay, so we are bringing some despair. Oh, hey. Oh! I knew you could do it. Of course, there's more hidden monokumas. Oh, god damn it. I hope I haven't missed any because I was not paying attention in that first room. to be anything to investigate. Huh? That's weird. This is the way I walked through to get to the gymnasium, but now we're on the fifth floor. So I'm fairly different. Is this one of Kuma's doing too? He's trying to confuse us again. Don't know how he's doing it, but he keeps doing it over and over again. It's so persistent. I'm not going to fall for his trap. There's no way this will make me back down. Yeah, we're suddenly on the fifth floor. Um. There's a strange feeling. This hallway, there is a strange feeling to it, no? Pretty itchy eyes. go back to the beginning <sighs> so we'll continue on and then I've got to say oh, I've got to say file at the beginning I can just zoom through and, and pick up the missing ones um as if an invisible wall has been looked at I am is it just me no it's not just you mate. I can go into it Well, if we can get back down to the first floor, maybe we can go back into the classroom one day. Is this a dojo? It's sort of strange things that make me think no way we're inside a school. It's a mistake to expect the inside of this building to make sense. Ooh, a book. Hmm, what's this? The manga the title is Manga for Morons, A History of Hope Speak Academy by Monokuma. Manga was such a suspicious looking title laying out in the open like this. <laughs> Let's start with history first, guys. Hey, um... Reading manga is the third third best way to learn about history. What's the first you ask? <laughs> Depends on the person. Just so I thought when Akuma made this, it totally explains how suspicious it looks. I really want to just ignore it, but there's no way I can do that. Fine, I'll look at it. Look at anything that might be a clue to getting out of here, no matter what it is. Oh. 
I made it go away. I uh, accidentally hit the wrong button. Um, start flipping through the pages. The history Introduction to Hope Speak Academy History is narrated by Akutsu Kachra on the cover. The story begins with an introduction to Hope Speak Academy. Hope Speak Academy is a government funded school of privilege where only the most talented high school students can hope to attend. Built to raise hope in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders of various industries. New students are ch chosen through a scouting process, but the ones who scout them are Hope Speak Academy teachers service both educators and research sensitive of talent. Hope Speak Academy isn't just a school for talent, it's a school for research and talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hope Speak Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. This persists, the, persists, persists. The Academy believes they will not be able to make progress within their research of talent. So they decided to implement a new system, the Reserve Department. Like the main department who scouts for systems, says, bleh. I can't word today. Scouts for students. The reserve department utilises a general entrance exam. Normal faculty was hired and placed in charge of looking after the reserve department. The expenses and exam fees for the reserve department are quite high to compare to most high schools. Nevertheless, Hope Speak Academy received an endless stream of applicants. Hope Speak Academy was now available to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. With this, Hope Speak Academy managed to amass sizable funds and began further research of talent. To create Hope Speak Academy's earnest wish, a true genius who would become mankind's hope. But when they thought everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. The incident that triggered the tragedy, the biggest, most awful tragic his event in human history. That's right, it was the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy. Hope Speak Academy was crippled by this incident, was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. The end. Ah. Huh? Hmm. The ending was so sudden, like a manga that suddenly cancels in the middle of its run. Just those phrases mentioned at the end of the manga. Tragedy and the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy. The names are so melodramatic, there's no way these incidents really happen, right? Well, that's the question, isn't it? This man only mentions the names, so I don't really know the details, but... Now it's a waste of time to worry about things that don't make sense. More importantly, I learned some things since manga. The reserve department. The department was only built to collect money. I was one of those reserve course students, right? But hold on! It's weird. Oh, you're here again. Oh, you're here again. The thing that's weird is you, of course. Huh? Hey! Hey! Why did you forget that you were part of the reserve department? The Future Foundation only took away your school life memories, right? You should have known even before you entered that you had no talent. So I think it's that you actually forgot something like that too. What, what do you want me to say? By the way... Based on my assumption, the Future Foundation must have wanted to find, hide the fact that you were the one of the reserve course students. I got it! Or you willingly sealed those memories yourself. Huh? <laughs> you want to become confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. You know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase their memory of what happened. Yeah. Happens pretty often. Not that I know anything about that, though. Are you saying it's my fault I forgot? That's not it. Come on! Things get inconvenient, you always get so angry and try and brush it off. It's expected of a reserve course student. Hmm. Damn it, what the heck? I've obtained a truth bullet. Okay. So maybe it's investigation, then trial. We'll see. Um, okay, let's get a bit of mini game here. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> if the production team would have more time, gosh darn it. Full core breaking, it's an armor and a helmet. Did the map develop to design this to represent a tiny uh, red Japanese dojo? The cherry tree is in full bloom. I'd be taste for sight to see a blooming cherry tree in a dojo, but in this situation, it just looks bizarre. Crown pick over here that would look truly picturesque. But you wouldn't look and say six got it. It's got it. Got its key back. Oh god. It typically looks like a coin. Thank you. 
What's going on? It's always kind of creepy. Can't go to places that I should be able to go. It's like some rules being enforced for no reason. Mm -hmm. oh, there's an invisible wall or something. The tragedy of HP Academy. Well, I'm bankrupt. It's a trick for the biggest, most tragic, awful event in human history. I read this manga when I go to learn a little more about the incident. Okay. <coughs> the story made use of heavy, out outdated, stylized drawings depicted characters solving mysteries. What's written here is. As the name suggests, the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy occurred at Hope's Peak Academy. The key player in that event was a student named uh, Izuru Kamakura. Izuru was a genius known as the symbol as Hope. Hope's Peak Academy used all their resources to develop him. Supposedly, Izuru was a genius among geniuses and possessed various talents. Wielding superior talent for the hope of mankind, the Academy referred to Izuru as the ultimate hope. <laughs> Was Makoto. To project such rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all evidence of Azura's origins and identity. Because of that, most students at the Academy were completely unaware of Azura's existence. But Azura, is known as a symbol of hope, was responsible for a horrible incident. Thirteen students, Hope's Peak Academy Student Council, among the Academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Azura. Oh yeah, there was a whole thing in the last game that sort of explained that. But I didn't remember that part. I just knew there was a Mori at some point. The incident didn't end there. The Academy tried to protect his talent and conceal the incident so it long that happened. However, a certain student began working in secret to use that incident to their advantage. That was Junko, right? Um, that student uncovered what the Academy did and made that made, by making that knowledge public, it stoked the fires of reserve course students who had long since been dissatisfied with how they'd been treated. And the uprising began, and that heralded the Hope Hope's Peak Academy's destruction. The entirety of the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Eventually, that incident would lead to that horrifying, devastating incident. The incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Works cited Dangan Rumpa Zero. Heavy sign. Am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> what irony! For a genius known as the ultimate hope to cause such a gruesome incident. A talent like that is too regal for society. It's like trying to buy juice with a bar of gold. Yeah. Oh, you should be lucky that you're incompetent. Why is it to look up something offensive? He seriously pisses me off, but ultimate hope. Nagato mentioned that before, but it looks like it means something really different here. Well, Nagato said was the true meaning of hope, but for Zero Hope sent him talent. More importantly, a genius who possessed various talents. I wish they'd given me one of those talents so I didn't in the reserve department. That's right, the reserve department. It said that the reserve for students in the reserve department began uprising. And what about me? Was I a participant too? No, that's not possible. No way. I have no reason to do something like that. Anyway, I've learned about the tragedy, but the biggest, most awful tragic event in the ministry is far worse, right? What incident was it? And who's that student, other student that is in Azuru? The one who secretly used the incident to their advantage. Who's that? This incident's really messed up, but all it's doing is raising more questions. The mysteries just keep piling up. Violin in the corner there. Yeah, but this one I believe was the room where it happened.
doing that? What the hell with this room? It's cold. Yeah, this is the morgue. I'm gonna freeze or something. So we have to investigate. It's a turp. Very cold monitor. Cancelled during development because it was so freaky. Oh, I've just seen. Damn it. There's another manga just lying around. I said this manga for morons, the biggest, most awful trade event in human history. I knew it, the next one would obviously be about some. Huh. This is it on a light and that turned out to be something lame. Flip through the pages and hope that was right. Also, there's a thing hiding under the desk, so we need to get that. Biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. A story about crudely drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. An incident known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This is drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself is so grotesque. Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with a sentence. The tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the Reserve Corps students that triggered the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. The community was not li limited to students and people of various races and nations began joining in. The movement was not confined to the internet and began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world certain abnormalities came to light. By then it was too late. The ends and the means had vanished and wanton destruction became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them. And soon the weak form factions to brutally murder the strong, and the violence and death continued to spread and the shock of their actions began to disappear, as if the era was regressing to more uncivilised times, when senseless deaths were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people would watch them while enjoying a meal. By the time the world realised what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and coup d'etat began occurring around the world, a war waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain, just war. Pure war. And because of that, there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by a high school student progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organisation devoted to a certain student who implemented Hope Speak Academy, a group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope Speak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they used them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society used their influences to brainwash the mashes, masses in order to spread despair. Mashes would be much more tasty. Tech-savvy computer programmers worked software to spread despair. The powerful and the influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with that, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. Okay. My heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt ice cold. It wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, this is definitely all made up. And if this is really true, then what's happening in the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, the nearby bookshop, my, my favourite restaurant, what's happening to them? No way! You seriously yelling, yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? Who would enjoy reading something like this? Wah -wah? My, you don't like manga? <gasps> I saw a student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like tea candy. Enough! What is this messed up manga? <laughs> Thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but for you not to remember that, such despair! It's the Future Foundation's fault though, thanks to them stealing your school memories. The incident happened during that period, it's been being completely removed from your brains. This incident really happened and I actually forgot about it. There's no way that's possible. What are you saying? How many times do I have to tell you all the clues here are Please understand, I'm waiting for you. If you don't learn about the full extent of an outside world, your guys will suffer it. <laughs> I just want to help you guys so you can live well adjusted lives in the outside world. I see, so that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. I'm just trying to make us feel despair towards the outside world so we want to stay inside. There's no way I'm going to do what he wants. It's bad at that, something can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just right now. 
Perhaps no, that's definitely it. Okay, whether or not this incident really happened, what in the world is this ultimate despair group? They're devoted to a certain student who guided Hope's Peak Academy to its destruction. Are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy? Plus, that organisation isn't just one person, but a group of people. If they know it's ultimate despair, they're high school students, right? Or if they're actually able to do it, then I guess that's where they record ultimates. Then the killings we're involved in connected to them as well. It's no use, I'm gonna freeze to death. I'm gonna limit, I need to get out of here. No! Okay, we're really failing at picking up the monokumas in this chapter. Close and he froze to death, so where should I go next? Let me go back in. Oh, good. So it's just the one at the, the bottom I missed, or the way it will be. There we go. Oh my god, what uh, uh, I've been found! This because it gives us XP as well. Some things unblocked now. Jeez. Uh, when I went inside this room, that Buster Bear was suddenly here. He keeps glancing at me. I wonder why. Hm. It's gonna be shitty even way. Damn right. So I'll let you answer it. There's no way I'm gonna deal with that idiot. Don't wanna do it either. Hello, heard you may hope you're doing pleasing me well. You're pleasing me well, you're pleasing me well, right? What are you doing here? No, no! That was another thing I need to tell you on this plan. Like, I bought a drawing manga, can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? I've done that from the beginning, I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. A high school student who doesn't like manga, like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm fed up with your babbling, hurry up, what did you need to tell me? <laughs> it's about that key piece of information you've been waiting so long for. What? Surprise, it's about ultimate despair! Hmm. hmm. Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days, it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most evil, powerful, evil, and feared person alive. A high school girl? Yes, indeed! Yay! Junko Enoshima! Lady Junko Enoshima. Junko Enoshima? Hey! Um... As a former ultimate despair, she created a despair bringing with charm and humor. And created the ultimate <laughs> despairs. Hmm. It's one really horrible person in that Don't group. Don't fuck with me! Hold on a sec. I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. Just the way people would join some organization created by a high school girl. Humans are obsessed with their philosophy and have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? So there's nothing strange hey, about it. Um... That holds truth for Lady Janka. With her character charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the higher echelons of power. Phew. Her connections are the main reason that the incident became the tragedy in the first place. Has she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat? Huh? What was their purpose? Huh? What? Like I said, you... why'd they cause that incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way we'd do what they did without hey, purpose. Um. But it's Junko and Ashima's despair. Huh? But Junko and Ashima's despair isn't about purpose, a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what defines Junko and Ashima as Junko and Ashima. What are you saying? <laughs> Ah, you must have Flushy. Ajime is a human, it's exactly like that. Joko Adashima is full of so much despair that she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving for her, everything is despair. What the hell? Hmm. In their overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. That idea had been slammed right into their minds. <laughs> so the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. Despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko Enoshima. 
like believers making offerings to their god. Like a mother providing food to her children. He dedicated all despair so they could escape from despair all in Junko and Ashima's name. For example, yeah. and killed their family, friends, even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something that they had to do. There's no way something that crazy is possible. Well, what? Do you know about the final days of the reserve course students during the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy? The final days? In other words... Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. Final days. What happened to the reserve department? Of course. He fulfilled their role as disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> so the 2,357 students of the reserve department committed mass suicide. Mass suicide? What did you say? 2,357 students. <laughs> hmm. Wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. One person was excluded, huh? Is that me? Damn it. Don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. So much despair, Junko Enoshima? Doesn't scare me at all, I mean. Junko Enoshima's already dead. Huh? What's that? Huh? What's that department? Squeeze me, how do you know? I mean, she is, but huh? Hey, for you, is it true what you said? Junko Enoshima's already dead. Huh? What, you didn't see? There was a book called Manga for Morons Killing School Life in that bloody classroom. Oh, bloody classroom. Wait, what was that you said about killing school life? The killings we were involved in, they were killings that happened at Hope's Peak Academy. Yes, six people survived. If you recall, the mastermind took her own life because all the remaining students worked together to defeat well, her. Well, yeah. That's where it was. Killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. Hey! For a manga about killing school life, it would draw me a lot of study images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind had the failed killing school life, of course. Junko Enoshima. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko Enoshima is dead. Like... Turns out that killing school life was part of that biggest, most awful whatever incident. Junko took away the memories of former students of Hope's Peak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hope's Peak Academy and she took away their memories, that's just like us. Apparently the old thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. So, Limit to being a cruel ass on. So then its cameras were broadcasting the whole thing. So the students of Vote Speak Academy are widely known as symbols of hope. By forcing people forcing people to watch those symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival. They were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up. Huh. That messed up plan was stopped. Junko and Ashima failed. Junko lost to the students after she placed in a trap and after being come, overcome by the despair huh. she created, she took her own life. And Junko's no more. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not, doesn't matter. Junko Enoshima ain't alive anymore. And who was our enemy? If Junko Enoshima is already dead, are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? Is the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings we're involved in resemble the killing school huh. life. Well, I don't know who the L is imitating Junko or making us go through huh. this, but an imitation is just that, an imitation. No shit! If the students of Hope Speak Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we lose to some fake. But this is an imitation of the surveillance cameras, the same too. Cameras all over Jabba Rock Island. The broadcasting to somewhere just like the surveillance cameras during the killing school one. Okay. Come yeah. on, Hajime, you, you totally know about that story, huh? What, do you have a problem with that? I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it. What are you gonna do? Oh well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What do you mean raise the flag? What's gonna happen if you do that? Ooh, Step at a time, you're getting close to carrying my character route. I'm not making any sense again. Well now. No, I'll give my guys you all. I'll tell you everything I know, inclu including the information on the outside yeah and the inside. I'll raise them flags like crazy. Hey. Oh, now we're on the fourth floor. Great. Huh? Change to a different hallway again. So sudden, what's going on to make something like this happen? Now, we've already decided that I'm not going to be surprised. 
no time for me to surprise by something like this. So if there's any chance of me getting down to the first floor. I can see if I missed one at the beginning. But then maybe I didn't. But it feels like if there's five floors and five monokumas, then I probably did. But I wasn't really thinking of them at the beginning. I was just like, ah. But I should have thought of them. Could be switching a nose like a beast and examining... Though actually, there was one in the gym fifth floor. I guess if we go through all the floors, I could have just gotten more. I can't just twitching and there's like a beast and examining her surroundings. See what happened. Based on my gut feeling. I feel like someone's getting closer. What do you mean? Who? So... I don't know, it's just my gut. It's just my gut! Still, I thought it was pretty impressive. For some reason, it's strangely intuitive. You know, we could have something about the main cast coming. Hmm. It's surprising, but I got must be correct again this time. The black spots are there. The office. No, music room. The only thing open. This floor. It's like music room. I feel like I can see something strange. Hmm. Is that the mark and graves in the monument? Oh, the future foundation. Short passage. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the graduate service of Academy me, were among the many who established the Future Foundation. Huh? The future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hope to Academy? Aren't they known as World Enders? It's completely different. And okay, who made it up. Hmm. Floating in the air. It's like hologram, right? Floating nurses are forming a sentence. It's like a passage from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we obtained information. A person who claims to be a survivor of Hope Peak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. The survivors of Hope Peak Academy, it's possible they may be took by the ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible, though I don't believe the group that can go that far without Junko and Nishima rallying them. Worst case scenario must prevent a repeat of the killing life. Also, if they're survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we're still investigating the details of their origins and we haven't located them either. We'll continue investigating that matter. Also, regards separate matter, we've re received a report from the research facility on Jabrock Island. Preparations have been completed. It seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World program. Survivors? 15. Is that about us? If Tsurin Chiaki was part of the Future Foundation, there were definitely 15 of us, but what does survivors mean? It's like they're talking from the world. What happened outside Jabbar Parliament? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, and the world isn't normal anymore, maybe. I'm starting to feel like we may be better off remembering, not remembering the memories we've lost. Okay. We need to close the mystery. It's finally confirmed. The Future Foundation is on our side, at least. They were founded by the graduates of Hope Speed Academy, and they took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. No, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, his true identity must be the ultimate despair, so you can cause the biggest force. I... The, the event. The ones who are carrying out the will of Junko and Ishima are making me square through this. Also, this caught my attention in the too. There's a research facility on Jekyll Island mentioned in the world, what's that about? 
So maybe they actually are on the island, but they're also in the simulation. That's possible as well. Because there was some travel. And also it was weird because, oh yeah, that was it. It looked like Nagito had like grafted another person's human hand. Like left hand. It was a woman's hand. It could have been Junko's. He was a bit mad. That was in the prequel, the, 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 the chapter zero. But obviously it, I don't think he had the wrong hand in simulation. So maybe he knew it was a simulation all along. Um, there's no way that's the research facility. Oops, I think I just picked the wrong thing. Oh yeah, I should check the pet. Um, anyways, this video is a research facility on the island. It should be a reference foundation on this one. So maybe there's still so many mysteries. So it is possible that... It's sort of hidden. list of students. It's different from my classroom. Maybe... It's probably the office, right? I mean, the room has that kind of stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, I know. You mentioned it. It does look like that. Well... More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonia? I don't see her anywhere. Which one is this guy going to be obsessed with Sonia? Get up already. Ah. Okay. So... Huh? Are you serious? See so far. This is bad. I mean, oh, something happens to me. Oh, this guy's so useless. Yeah, great. It's like they've injected stuff in to help us. Letters floating in the air. Jeez. That's from an email. Just read it. We understand the matter regarding survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best to continue your investigation. Now, you must ex exercise extreme caution concerning the remnant of despair. Even though they've lost Junko and Ashima, the fact remains they're incredibly dangerous. Yeah, I, I honestly think that maybe Nagato is one of them. Even if now death, the tragedy is not ended, perhaps there's still a leader on par with Junko and Ashima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of the shining future. Immediately eliminated? Does that mean someone would to kill them? This is not peaceful at all, though I guess it's understandable. If the event is as terrible as it sounds, it's pretty much all out war. The remnants of the spare the ones raiding that war, there's no way they'd be given that easily. Hmm. Flowers? They look weird. And my eyes are tired anyway. But not too tired. written on the blackboard or something. Oh, wait. How do you mean Hinata? That's me. Cheki Nam... Yeah, Cheki. Kazuichi. Nagito. Gundam. Ultimate Imposter. Who <laughs> obviously doesn't have a name. Teru Teru. Kumaru. Fihiko. Mahiru. Yukani Buki. Yukani. Sonya. Peko. And Yoko. One, okay, hang on, that's nine, six, fifteen, sixteen. How many have seen before? There are names. And also, Yoko. 
Read this newspaper. All right, she looks much older there. What is this? It says Miss Hyoko Sayanagi. Can't mean the same. I mean, Hyoko, we knew. Yeah, it was like tiny, much more than childlike. It's pretty much a defining feature. But if it's a simulation, then that's why. The photo in the newspaper, I can see the resemblance to Yoko, but a height of figure. It's too different from the Yoko we knew. What does that mean? Huh? This lady looks pretty mature. Is she Yoko's older sister or something? No, it says Yoko Sayanagi here. Ah. Well, then Yoko has an older sister with the same first and last name. An older sister with the same first and last name? I mean... It's the only explanation, right? I mean, look for yourself, that's not Yoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Yeah. It's not like I was that close to her or anything. Wrong! She doesn't have an older sister. Yoko is the Sayanagi family's only daughter. Hmm. She's got a sister and a relative. There's still too much of a resemblance. What are you saying? It's Yoko. Huh? Of course not! What are you saying? Yoko doesn't have a curvy body like that. She was famous for a childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap looking like that. Well... I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt. Saying. She's dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. <laughs> Today, I'm feeling well, white. Goddess, all the clues I provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's so, going on? well, it could be that she reverted child form in the simulation. For some reason. Don't know why. It could be that they've been stuck in here for a while. And everyone that died just came out of the simulation and got to grow up. I don't know. So the truth in the UK newspaper. Is it really saying it's the same person? That's impossible. I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Yoko when she's already dead? Why does it even exist? Hey, I think it's hey. probably one of the first photo evidence things we've had. Related to that list of subjects over there. Huh? This is bad. Subjects, maybe there was some kind of experiment, right? Experiment changed change Yoko's body? <laughs> same, just saying that now makes it sound messed up. What experiment? Some kind of experiment also means that we're test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard under that list of subjects, but what kind of experiment? What's going we? on? Bet not having to do with time travel. Hmm. Did we also get the photo? Because I feel like the photo is important. Founder Azuru, come, come. that's the name of the the hope guy, the one, the student that shot everyone up. Yeah. Another mystery. Oh, this you've totally raised all the flags on this floor. Congratulations, how'd you be? You should now go on to the next stage. Hmm. Next stage. Four, three. Hey, hey! I don't know, Kazumichi. There's only two rooms on this floor, but we did get another thingy, so. Damn it, not again. It's different from last time. I guess when that flag man of humor is raised, I moved to a different hallway than last. How can we do that? I know it's not time to be confused by that. Think about it, it's just gonna waste my energy. I mean, the fact that everything is literally. like, in sort of messed up, destroyed. Have we really? Okay, what's with all the windows? That's just found the rec room. This is first a corridor. Well, committed suicide. Just the it didn't match up really. With what happened? To this? Board. File! Pop 
confidential. Obviously, Monica is responsible. Confirm what's inside the file. About the Hope Peaks cultivation plan. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. The Hope cultivation plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we will birth a true hope that will bring hope to the entire world. Truly, the program is the next innovation in providing the ultimate education. This plan has been the Academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. What followed was a series of detailed instructions and intricate orders. It was full of different te difficult technical terms, and I had no idea what any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason. The Hope Cultivation Plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Hope's Peak Academy was buying something like this. I don't really get it, but there's something about these words. True hope, huh? Yeah. Hopeful peak. Ooh, hologram. Hologram again. Let's so look another email passage. We've gotten the report you gave you the other day. You finally succeeded in acquiring them and placed them in our care. Though they were all dispersed, we were successful in acquiring all 15 of them. Due to the fact that we were unable to ask them about the specific details, it's unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. We reported that some were wounded, so it seems certain that they survived in the harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined that they are the same age as the others, so we decided to entrust them to the survivors of the killing school life. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter, and we have no new information to report. We shall continue with the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for the sake of the future filled with hope. Now, we should have been protected by the Future Foundation, then why is this happening? If they were protecting us, why were we forced to kill each other? Well, because obviously despair infiltrated. This is not possible the Future Foundation sell this. Up. What's this? My, my, how'd you make if you're gonna keep worrying like this? You're gonna get a choice and collapse? It's your fault. It's a hologram thing anyway. Hey, um... That's exactly what it looks like. That's the Future Foundation's emails. I thought they were the perfect clue, so I would have been here and there to get them. You can even do that. I was controlling you seems to possess many times. No, no! Well, who cares about me anyway? That's not important at all. Maybe that's not important. His true identity should connect everything to what's happening right now. Now everything's upside down. Level 19. Looks like I'm in a different hallway again. There wasn't a thing in there though. Harry said we must have missed one at the beginning. <sighs> Disconnected from reality. Well, you know. Oh, hello. Carney, you're weirdly glitchy there. Smells. It's very close. Someone is coming. Someone's twitching on his Based on my gut feeling. Definitely real close, this. That's what my gut's telling me. Then answer this with your gut. Is it an enemy or an ally? Mm. Mm. See, my gut feeling yeah. is both. Yo! That's right, they're both. Both? What do you mean? You. Don't know any details, it's just my gut after all. It's true, I guess. Second floor, okay. Upside down. But second floor. Okay, so the fl third floor didn't have any monokum monokumas on. Maybe this one will. Foundation's emails. Future Foundation 
14th Division, Makoto Nayagi. Yes, protagonist from the first game. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason, do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about it carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. Maybe actually we're the remnants of despair. That would be an interesting twist. Six of you joined the Future Foundation between you agreed with, because you agreed with our deals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and cooperated with recovered your memories. Oh, immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Since we eliminate the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of the future people of hope. What does it mean? I would suggest that someone is trying to help the this case. Someone was dressed in Makoto. He's with the Future Foundation, right? Why is he trying to protect the remnants of despair? Did he betray them? I don't know. It's interesting. There's no blur in the mind. Or something, something, something. No. That's not a classroom, that's a laundry room. I didn't get it, but it looks like the laundry room. So they're worrying about it, but in the school, no, I'm suddenly in a laundry room. Aha. Okay, so if there's any way we can get down to the first floor, then no. we can. We've got one more left. If it, I don't know whether it'll work like we can reload that and it'll just magically let me get it. But, as I said, it's not actually that far in. Oh yeah, I was going to have a break. Um, let me just have a quick... I've got to stir my, my food. Let's do a save. So, you know, if we save here, then basically it's not that much to replay because I can just skip everything. So I don't have to explore, I know where they are. Assuming that there's one I missed at the very beginning. I don't know why I'm assuming that. I've got it stuck in my head. So anyway, we're just gonna have a short break. <sighs> antihistamine withdrawal is worse than non-antihistamine sometimes. Oh, right, okay, I shall be back in a few minutes. Um, feel free to get a snack, a drink, a stretch, etc. and be all good. I'll see you in a few moments. Thank you so much for the raid. Sorry, I was just grabbing a quick stretch and stirring my casserole. How 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 are you doing? How far did you get in Sherlock? Also, well, there's two of me now. Uh, <laughs> how far how far did you get? Um, I can't remember that it's that already. You finished the first case. Nice. I think I did that as well. Though I did get randomly stuck where I couldn't figure out um, how to progress past a bit on the table. <laughs> well, it's something with a gem and the fortune teller, but uh, cool. I, I really need to go back to that game. Hmm, tablet computer. Is this the next clue? Near world program. Top script. Well, it seems you recall hearing it and seeing it a few times already. Psychotherapeutic communication simulator. The new world program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technation technology and administrative software. I wonder if that's what they were trying to do. And actually, these 16 people are remnants of despair. And this is some sort of therapy and it was supposed to be with Monami and then Monokuma hacked it and made it into the barbaric thing. That makes sense why, why it would be a simulation if it's like psychotherapy. 
who developed the Neo World program, individuals such as the Ultimate Programmer, the Ultimate Neurologist, and the Ultimate Therapist. Hang on, didn't the Ultimate Programmer die? From among the many talented people whose research results were utilised. By mounting a device to the cranium, the Neo World programming allows its subject to experience synthetic virtual world. Told you! In a simulation. Called it from the first chapter. From the prologue, actually. Additionally, the Neo World program is in the feature. It can replace memories formed in the real world with information contained in the synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it's possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world through the versus of the virtual use of the virtual world. However, this device for psychotherapy purposes only, any other use is strictly forbidden. Though it's highly effective in treating brainwashing, abusing the device, or its total personality destruction. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. That's why everyone's gone wonky. Slowly, everything around me turned black. Yeah, we totally missed the thing then. Synthetic virtual world program. A feeling of emptiness, like everything is being tainted. A feeling of weakness, like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Everything's starting to feel meaningless. Desperate attempts, the sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now. It's all disappearing until all I feel is despair. Nah. I screamed loudly as if I was confirming the sound of my own voice. I'm not actually going to scream because it probably wouldn't pick up on the mic. There's no way I can accept this. I'm starting to accept that. This. This. There's no way something as crazy as this actually exists. Why does it nice. look like you're in the freaking Matrix? You gotta raise the flags more in order to clear my character route. <laughs> now then, despair is waiting for you. Impossible. This is impossible. It's all made up. Everything's all made up. Made up. Including me too. Yeah, it's fine. Hiya. Hi, how are you doing? Did you enjoy the killing school trip? By the way, do you guys remember the speech I made at the beginning? From this point on, I promise you a world that truly deserves to be called a game. Ha <laughs> You guys are the only ones watching this who can save them. The end of the world is nigh. What you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Isn't it exciting? Isn't it heart throbbing? Look forward to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh. Okay. Ah, are we. It's hallway. I first arrived here. I walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym. I don't really see a resemblance, but. Okay, what well, does that mean? We can go back into the classroom. We're on the first floor. Placebo effect, isn't there a placebo effect? Huh? <laughs> the placebo effect is when your health improved after taking a fake medication that you believe is real. And the placebo effect is the exact opposite, which means as long as the human brain controls all the bodily functions, the human brain believes something is real, it will become real. Why did you bring that up all of a sudden? Huh? Oh my! Um... I am not sure, I do not fully understand. What the heck? We're just gonna carry on. This is floating. We've got a save, and if we need to like run around loads to like, you know, grind stuff, that's fine. We can do that. Ah, oh, 40 seconds. If I realised that, I'd have done the 40 steps. 
possible. There's no way something this big will be floating, but what in the world is it? When I looked at that object. Hmm. Okay. Pull the computer code. Oh, hello. It's Chiaki. No, not Chiaki. Chihiro. Well, alter ego, anyway. Welcome. Welcome to the New World Program. Person? Floating person is what... Who is it? No. Is this even a person in the first place? Um, it's not quite a person. I'm simply an artificial intelligence program. It would make me happy if you called me Alter Ego. This is the name my master gave me when he created me. I can talk, but what are you? Alter Ego? Artificial intelligence program? I am the master program behind the board program. I'm responsible for creating and overseeing this world. However, only the observer has the authority to directly influence you guys. I can't actually exert much influence. In fact, my existence is one that you don't normally meet. I'm sort of like the apartment manager or something. I may oversee the entire apartment building, but I let the power to manage individual rooms. But the virus has infected everything I'm supposed to be managing. And because of that, the world I'm managing is acting very peculiar. Hold on. My brain can't follow what you're saying. Let me gather my thoughts first. Damn it, it's that feeling from earlier again. The floating feeling like my feet hovering above the floor. Well, like I can't feel my feet on the ground. Like I can't even believe my own existence. Hey, you should know, right? What is this place? Tell me, what is the Neoward program? The Neoward program has admitted the data collection procedure for shaping the entire world. As such, only data we collected during the experimental stage is being utilized. Specifically, that means the data detailing Jabberwock Island where this research facility is located. That is why the previous Jabberwock Island cityscape was restored. Ago, if I'm to answer your question where is this place, the answer would be mostly Jabberwock Island. Certain portions of it are different depending on the circumstances. For example, the school you're in, it appears this space is entirely under the virus's influence. That's probably why I'm appearing before you too. However, even without the virus, these circumstances are a bit unnatural. It seems the launch was rushed, and because of that, there wasn't enough time to collect any data. There are people watching. How's everyone doing? How's everyone's weekends going? Also, how is it already nearly over on a Sunday? I swear weekends need to be twice as long. It's going to be a busy week as well. I do not like. So... Yes, how's everyone doing? Everyone doing okay? Anyone playing anything good? Um, I'm sorry, I don't really know the circumstances of the outside world. After all, I'm simply the overseer of the near world program. Most of its words. I understand what they meant, but I couldn't understand what was being said. There was no way for me to acknowledge it as the truth. It makes so much sense if this is a fictional world. Wait, are you saying this world is a fictional world? I feel, I feel like I can't believe what's going on here. The missing sense of reality, or the mysteries, or the truths, it's all just fiction. Is that... Even so, I need to know. I need to know what this world is. Hey, can you tell me? Also, I really like it that my... This time, my... Um, reasoning about what was happening was true. Because the first game, all of my theories were so much better than the actual end game. <laughs> this time, it matches! So I'm happy. I was very disappointed at the end of the last one. Very disappointed. But yeah. Anyway, hey, can you tell me, what was the Neo World program used for in the first place? The Neo World program serves only one purpose. It was used to make the world world a splendid one. I guess you can say it's a program for creating hope. A program for creating hope. But the fact that we're here and the fact that we don't have our memories. That's all the program's fault, right? Deleting memory is the first step towards replacing memory. Replacing memory data is one of the features of the Neo World program. With the installed memory control unit, it's possible to remove any time period you set it to. And from there, upload the memories obtained into the virtual world. Removing memories of any time period you set it to. So Monokuma was right, we did lose our school memories. But why? Why us? Why were our school memories taken away? There's a reason for that, right? Nah, it's gotta be because they're the remnants of despair. That's why they survived. And this is some sort of way to try and rehabilitate them, but it's sort of gone a bit wonky. Um... It... Okay. <laughs> it says... Um, Chihari... Uh, Fusaki, which is the name of the, the character who is alter ego. Erin, our identifier, Link. It just says not female. Because that was the whole thing with that character, was that it was a boy dressed as a girl. Never really discovered whether they were trans. It seemed to insinuate that he was always told he was acting too girly, so decided to become a girl so he wouldn't be bullied, but didn't necessarily feel like a girl. Because the whole reason he got killed was because he wanted to be stronger. Anyway. Booting the program on the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy while it's done. 
uh, experimental stage, I'm sure there was a very good reason. Unfortunately, I don't know what's happening in the outside world, I'm sorry. Are you saying we're lab rats? It's the only thing I can think of. It sounds like we're just lab rats. The Future Foundation did that to us? They're trying to save the world, right? Why is the Future Foundation not our ally? I'm sorry, I can't provide that much help. If only I was more reliable. I wouldn't have lost my authority to a virus like this. All those new worlds make my head feel like it's about to burst. Can you tell me more about the observer and that virus? Well, for this session, the Neo World program was programmed to house 15 people along with two monitors. Two monitors? Yes, they were disguised as a teacher and one of the students. They were intended to guide the participants in this way. By the way, the observer in the teacher role has been given the authority to influence you all, but the observer in the student role was not. They weren't given any special authority at all, so they'd seem the same as everyone else. What kind of authority does the teacher role have? An example, the teacher creates the rules of this world and manages them. If the teacher is properly managing the rules they've created, there is no risk of abuse. But because of the virus infecting everything, that has changed. It changed this world where violence shouldn't have existed in the first place. The Neo World program would have promised eternal peace. But just like the outside world, it's become a world filled with violence and death. What is that virus? I don't really know the details behind its true identity, but that function is beyond my capacities. No matter how much I try to stop it, it behaves as if it already knows what I'm attempting to do. In the end, it stole the portion of my abilities which control my authority to build, contain my authority to build the world. It was like a grandmaster chess player. I desperately tried to fight back so it wouldn't have complete control. But even so, a push portion of the world has been modified at its convenience. She's probably talking about the Monokuma Rock and the Funhouse. Based on what she's saying, it sounds like she's on the receiving end of a one-sided attack. But Alter Ego should be an impressive artificial intelligence that the Future Foundation created. I can tell that just by communicating with her. Which means the supposed virus is so smart that it surpasses this alter ego. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of pronouns being mixed up with Ch um, Chihiro as well. So, you know, it says not female on the screen, but we're using she, her. Um, and yeah, it was unclear whether, you know, I'm just going to go with they for now, wanted to be she, her or he, him or what? Well, I think it was sort of created before people were sort of more clear about what their identities were, or at least the world was more clear about what, you know, is actually possible. Um, and it was trying to be something, but maybe it wasn't trying to be something, and I'm not sure. Anyway. Because this virus is so smart, it surpasses all to ego, if so does that virus possess an artificial intelligence just like her? Damn it, what the heck? An artificial intelligence waiting an attack against another one? That's so freaking irritating. But how did that virus infect the Neo World program? The Neo World program exists in isolation, so it's impossible it was infected through a network. It's gotta be Nag Nagito. And that stupid hand. I'm fairly certain someone physically uploaded it. Physically? Perhaps someone secretly brought an external memory drive containing the virus into the facility. It could have been the person that Nagito was talking to. He directly uploaded it into the main computer where the Neo World program is installed. Based on my calculations, that's most likely what happened. It was brought to the Foundation's facility, but only one person... The only person who could enter that facility is someone who is a member of Future Foundation. Damn it, what am I thinking? Why am I assuming that what I just told is the truth? Why am I assuming that everything is a lie? Observers. Your world program. Ah, but it's true that the virus is powerful and I'm completely overwhelmed by it. But I'm still able to defend the essential areas, so it has a limit too. A limit? If it took over an observer, then it has to follow the rules of an observer. Such as... In order to end the program and release everyone, I need to, I need to follow the correct procedure and... Hey! Come oh. on now! Even if you're just a god in the machine, that's enough hints from you. You're going to say something more? I suppose that you exist between life and death. The death of yourself is inevitable. If so, it can be parallel to the defluxation based on the definition of existence that constitutes a relationship. From there, the paradigm... Oh my god. Changes results by being cut off rapidly and causes a situation where your own existence is unobservable and accelerates crosses with the joint ownership of the world and the situation from the context invites your... Oh my god. Death. What the... I am so confused. This is really hard to read. Hey. Yeah. Lots of death. Lots of death. Ow. Alright. You're hurting my eyes now. Can we not do that? Well, that's... What the heck? Trying to read stuff in the background. 
registered renderer. Okay, what just happened? You're right there, aren't you? Someone is right there, right? Or it could be... Mm, um... Makato... Makato... Miyagi. Hmm? Who are you? Are you different from the earlier one? Maybe you can't hear my voice from this side. I'm currently talking to the world through Alter Ego. Ever since you guys vanished into that space, the video's feedback has been pretty distorted. But even so, we were forced to watch you this entire time. Huh? The things you guys were forced to do, we were forced to watch it. Forced to watch us? I really want to save you right now, but because of the virus's interference, I can't. Our orders are no longer being accepted, including shutdown requests. The Neo World program is beyond our control now. In that world, that person created an independent country that doesn't accept outside interference. But Alter Ego created an opportunity for me to speak to you directly. That means this working. And it means the person I need to talk to is right there, I hope. It looks like this guy can't even hear me or see me. Just who is this guy anyway? It's gotta be Makoto. Um, um, yeah. Miyagi. Um, from the first game. It's not that one. Since there's no time, I'm gonna say what I need to say and believe you're there listening to me. But first, I should apologize to everyone. I know apologizing won't help, but we didn't imagine something like this would happen. We never expected such an atrocious virus was lurking inside the Neo World program. That's entirely our fault. It's our responsibility for not realizing it until it was too late. It's not just the virus either. I can't fa say for sure that the program didn't have any problems in the first place. To tell you the truth, I was unsure about whether or not to run the program on you guys. But this was the only way to save you all. I wanted to save you guys. Yeah, we're definitely rubber lips. Save us? What did he want to save us from? Why would this save us? You've already seen the password to enter the graduation exam, Graham, right? You know, 11037. Yes. Which I was like, it's Leon! I literally just watched the manga. Of course, it's Leon. It was the it was the it literally the clue in the first murder. You turn it upside down and put a slash. It's Leon. That's the numbers we found at Nazimi Castle. The door to the ancient room was supposed to open after you finished gathering the hope fragments. From there, you guys were supposed to challenge the graduation exam. However, I prepared that password just in case something went wrong. Like I said earlier, I had my doubts that this program was perfect. Even if the chance was slim, I thought the observer might end up going rogue. That's the reason I left that 11037 password in a place where the teacher role would not be able to go. I never thought Negato, who saw it first, would erase that password. Anyway, I'm also the person who set the password to that number. That number contains a secret. Someone close to me left that number to save me when I was in a dilemma. This is my... my, my yeah, Makato, Makato, Miyagi, the, he's the protagonist from the first game. I'm bad, so bad with pronouncing names. And yes, um... Zahara? Something like that? Who's the singer? Yeah, left that number to save me as in Dilemma. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm entrusting that will to you all. I entrusted it to your future. But that person is trying to ab ab abuse the graduation exam. I'm sure they're going to crush you with despair using the graduation exam that's waiting for you. But I want you guys to endure it without giving up on hope. I want you guys to withstand it until I get there, because I have a secret to defeat them. Does that mean he has a secret plan to defeat me? Okay? In a worst case scenario, an observer has evolved teacher goes rogue. I prepared a hidden command to use at the graduation exam site. It's the force shutdown sequence. Force shutdown sequence? Even a teacher's authority can't stop that command. It's a way to end this so that you guys can choose on your own independently of the observer. Which means even if they stole the teacher's authority, they shouldn't be able to stop it. If you use that, you guys will win. However, in order to start the force shutdown sequence, you need more than half the number of people. And in order to do that, I need to somehow get that number. Death, 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 death. Right, we don't have half, we've got five. So we need at least three more. Okay, he's still saying death, hmm? death, death. Say what? What was that just now? Hmm? Hey, Hachimi, what was that weirdness just now? Nothing, really? Hmm. I see. Anyway. Oh, well, it's all the hints you're gonna get. Is that no good artificial intelligence tells you any more useful <laughs> stuff? I'm gonna button again. Did one of you and not notice what just happened? It's been a while since I've spoken at length, but it was important to talk to you. It was worth waiting the long time here. Hey, about that guy just now. There shouldn't be anything else for you to ask me. See, it'd be bad if Monokuma overheard us. That means Monokuma doesn't know about the conversation I had with that guy just now. Be 
You guys have a weapon, a very powerful weapon. It depends on how you guys use that weapon. The only thing I can do is prevent the virus's invasion with all my might, so you guys can use that weapon. The rest is up to you all. Do your best. Do our best, huh? What do we have to do our best at? Mystery is getting solved. I'm finally starting to see the truth. But what are we supposed to do when that truth is really a lie? We know we're working towards a conclusion that no one wants to hear. Do we still need to work hard and do our best? Is there really a reason to do our best? If everything was a lie, then isn't everything just meaningless? It's the same for the killings too. Even though we had to experience something as painful as that, something as tragic as that, wouldn't it all be meaningless too? When the world's flipped over and become so irrational, what am I supposed to do? Yum. I didn't realise the significance of the number. And I said that at the beginning of this chapter. I said there was a number, but I'd forgotten it. But having just watched the manga, I know exactly what that number means. Anyway, shutdown sequence we've got. Okay, so big object. I shouldn't... Okay. I think if there was one at the beginning, there's now not one now because. Yeah, I just missed it. It's fine, as I said. I've got to save, I ain't, and I can skip through. Um... um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's time for the long-awaited graduation I feel this chapter exam. needs a seizure warning. Please enter the red door located on the first floor of Hope Speak Academy. Soon. Red door, huh? It's just a waste of time thinking about what the hell that means right now. But now I need to finish this. I just need to focus on that. Maybe that was the classroom that we were in before. I don't think at this point it really matters. I have very much missed it. You mean it's the door, right? That's the trial room. We just have to go in. If I do that, will this be finished? going to be um we're gonna go backwards because we're just gonna get some steps in it's at least a little hatch but the thing is that I'm not gonna hit nine 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 which is annoying but what I think is what I could do because I've got the the file, the, the save file, uh, if I need to, I can always just grind some bits just to get the last bits in. There, we got a monokuma. Excellent. So that gives us the most crystals, but it's 2,000 steps and I'm not doing that right now. Um, so, yeah. We missed one hidden monokuma and I'm kicking myself, but it's fine. The level 99 is the one that I'm worried about. Everything else. I mean, it can be done in the other thing, but it needs to be observed, which is the problem. Um, yeah, island mode, we will maybe have a look at. Um, and I sort of got a little bit of a hang of the um, one of me stages, and I just got a bit of a, a bit of RSI trigger. Um, hand cramp. Oh look, we're going into binary code. Seriously, bright lights and glitches definitely needs a trigger warning. A uh, visual trigger warning. Ooh, that's a nice blue. Ah, this is where we're supposed to get. Right, this place. Yo! Looks like everyone's here. Damn right! Seems this is going to be the final place. However... This place is... Is this the trial field? Why is it a trial field? Hmm, it sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibes are way different from what before. Um, 
We've been here before, right? Yes, this is the place that should be the place that the door at the ancient urn needs hey. to. Yeah, he said he did it between the door and the trial thing. Yeah, so basically we're supposed to get all the fragments by becoming friends with everybody and then go through this when the door opens. Um, and, um, and we've got the cheat code, the escape code. Um, so now we're back at the little trial place, but this is where the final exam is going to be. <sighs> mm. Anyway, it seems pretty strange you've been in the other building up till now. Damn it. Like we're dreaming or something. This is a dream, and this too is very... Welcome! So, you finally arrived. Congratulations, you guys are the first one ever to beat this game. <laughs> After stopping by Hope Speak Academy, you've finally come back to this place. The graduation exam site within the ancient ruins of Jadbog Island. You can give it a fancy name like graduation exam site, but it's no different from the trial ground from before. Stupid fool! Phew. The trial field actually inspired the one from before, so in a way, this place is the original. Hey, hey! Yes, this graduation exam means we can finally go home, right? Of course! Yeah, if that's what you guys decide. Huh? And if we have to decide, what do we have to do? Now then! Please take a look at the LCD touch panels built into your seats. To the other trials, the rules are much simpler this yes, time. Yes, indeed! There are two options, graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. One of you will cast your vote, and whichever one has the majority will consider your final decision. If you don't press either of them, you'll be treated as an absence and not In counted. other words... Which means everyone who's died up until now will have their votes treated as absences. Then? Then the result is based on our majority vote. Hmm. Uh -huh. If graduate is chosen by majority vote, then an, evaluation, an event that's kind of like a graduation ceremony called the graduation program will begin. <laughs> uh, even if we do this stupid majority vote, the results are already pretty damn obvious. Come on, let's move along. We can press it right now, right? No, no, no. I can't do that yet. Hmm. I mean, your result hasn't firmed yet. Will to be stripped away by society's harsh currents. Shut up! Shut up! Who oh, cares? I'm gonna press it. What's this? My, my, which of your orifices are you using to spew bile? To participate in the graduation program, you need my final say as your teacher, you know. What does that mean? Does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? That's right! After the vote, I'm gonna judge each and every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. Damn it! So, even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. Well... I'm terribly sorry for being rude earlier. No way! You don't have to worry, there's no way I won't acknowledge your graduations. This is merely a formality, I'm just doing it because that's how it has to be. Just doing it because that's how it has to be. It doesn't mean you can exert his over everything. Who too has a limit? Is this what Alter Ego is talking anyway. about? Anyway! If you don't want to do it, you guys need still need to do it to solve the mystery. After you catch your majority votes from then on, we move on to the graduation program. <laughs> Why do you even ever go through something so dumb? Hmm. Well, that is. You said you were waiting for the main cast? Oh, you said you were waiting for the main cast, right? Hmm? Which means you're just stalling for time, then. Huh. Who's the main cast? Hmm. No need to worry about it. It's nothing to do with you guys. That is. It's in a way it has nothing to do with us. We are the ones who are involved, you know. So annoying. Doesn't matter if you're involved or not. You're just a bunch of chumps in the big picture. That's why it has nothing to do with you. Just perform your roles without complaining. You piss me off. Come on, what's with that chump comment? I can't ignore that. We can't indeed. Ah, oh, my upstairs neighbor is making annoying blinking noises again. So I think this is possibly going to be a trial, but a trial feels like it's going to be longer than an hour and then there'll be a whole bunch of exposition. So what I'm going to do is I'll get up to the trial part and I'll save it and then we'll end early and then next week we'll take on the trial and if it ends within the three hours then I will um, do some of the island mode and what I might do in the meantime is knit back to the save file and redo the bits. <laughs> Get them on Akumas. Because it's not like we've made any decisions up till now, we've just explored stuff. I 
and I hate missing stuff. Yeah. Not that it's not, not so important or anything, but make sure you turn off that I toy. Won't forgive you. How dare you treat a toy. What's this? I did treat it like a toy. You got a problem with that? I created everything. <laughs> She's picking a fight with me? I'm basically a god. How promising you can you guys be? I guess this is just the nature of life. <laughs> Fine then, before you die, sear my power into your memories. Yes. Yeah, we just skipped like the normal. There we go. That's exactly what I said. Okay, so that was just less than two hours. This is fine. I've got a casserole I'm making. Um. We will not start with I that. did say I wanted you guys to know the outside world, but this is still a questionable starting topic. Turn to title. So yeah, short to stream today, but that's fine. Um, no one's talking, so. You know, I'm just going to do that. What I'm going to do is we'll go and raid Ima. Seems like we're doing a little bit of a back and forth there, I think. I'm just doing some retro games. Sega Genesis CD Retro Day. Doing some Sega. So, what we shall do is... Excuse me. I will... Redo to get the Monokuma I missed. Um, so that is in a good place. Before starting the trial. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching today. Um, we're going to go and raid Ima. Thank you to Mr. Corners for the raid earlier. Um, and yeah, I'll be back on Tuesday. Probably with some point and click games, maybe game, maybe games. I have to have a look and see how long they are. Um, then there's a Wednesday co-stream. I'm not sure what the plan is for then. No Thursday stream, and we're doing Coffee Talk and Danganronpa at the weekend. We should, by the looks of it, finish off Danganronpa on next Sunday. So that is good timing. Thank you, Lady McGree. Um, yeah, so I've been Joe, otherwise known as Angel SK, and I shall see you all soon. Bye.